Hi everybody! Welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Today we're going to carry on doing the um, journal that uh, we started. Um, now, when I last spoke with you, uh, we managed to show you how I put the pieces together to make the journal with some uh, masking tape and then uh, build the journal up. So that's where we were sort of at at that time. So what I've gone and done is I've done a smaller version so it just fits in the frame but before we go there I'll just show you where I'm actually up to with the journal itself. So what I've gone and done is I've covered it and I've covered it in this free paper which I'll explain in an, another video. Uh, it's the paper that's layered between uh, the pallet of sugar that comes into the into the shop and I've textured it, textured it, gosh that was hard to say, textured it and I've distressed it so it just looks uh, a little bit um, older, um, some more sort of vintagey and then I've added the card uh, pocket that um, I made on another video um, to it so I've attached uh, a couple of the um, a couple of brads and a couple of the uh, eyelets there just to keep it more secure and glued it to it. Uh, and then I've also lined it with my papers ready for it to be, um, start adding bits and pieces to it. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I did that using a smaller version because you don't have to do it the big size that, that I do. So uh, I'm making this journal as a as a gift uh, for somebody. So I've done it exactly the same way. I've added the different pieces to the journal using the masking tape uh, on both sides. And then all I've gone and, uh, gone and done is started to line the paper. Now, if you haven't got a piece of paper that's the whole length of your journal, because these are quite long, uh, I thought I'd explain to you how I do it with two smaller pieces. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I've started off already by lining one half of my journal and I will explain to you how I'm going to do the other. So first of all what I've done is I like to use glue. I don't like normally to use the double sided sticky tape but it's ideal if I'm honest to secure the paper while the glue sets. So that's exactly what I've, uh, I've gone and done there. And for this, you don't really need to have an awful lot of um, glue on it uh, for the, the paper at this stage. So I'm just going to put some of my double-sided um, sticky tape just to make sure that everything uh, sticks to where it needs to stick. And I'll just lift these ones off like so ready to put the papers down. So I've pre-cut the paper to size just to save a, a little bit of, um, of time for us. Oops, this is going to be quite fiddly. Um, which, uh, which also helps and then I'm going to bind the main spine with some embossed paper just to um, join the two halves of the um, the nice paper together uh, but I'll explain that uh, just a little bit uh, further down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place our paper, our pre-sized paper and we're going to join it just roughly to there. It doesn't matter if uh, it doesn't quite join because we're actually going to cover that little bit there that's showing. We're actually going to, to cover that. So just go like that and what we want to do is make sure that the paper will bend in the areas that we want it to bend in for the book. So just go over it with the bone folder just to make sure that that bends there like so. And the same with this one here because we've got another bend here. So we're going to bend that card over and just pull that down with the, the bone folder like so. And again with this side, we're going to do exactly the same. Now obviously my paper is quite a uh, thick paper. 
which will give us a little bit more a little bit more give so that bends as well and then this one here is just where we're going to fold it over now before we start folding it over what I like to do is just uh, snip the edges so where this fold is here coming down there I'm just going to take a little triangle of paper away like so and the same then with this one when it comes to there I'm going to just take a little snip little triangle of paper where those corners meet and it just makes it I think a bit neater and we're going to cover the book so like that and like that and then when we come to this corner what I want to do is cut that paper down so what I normally do is get a ruler uh, or a rule as my father would shout at me and say because a ruler is a king not a measuring in an instrument and just cut across there like so and the same with this side now all the way along like so and then turning it round we're going to do exactly the same again so everywhere where there's that line where the paper we want to bend and there's a fold we just want to do a little triangle just cut the little triangle out like so that's it and take those away now you might uh, do your papers uh, slightly different if you do that's fine uh, it's just as long as it's uh, it's all covered and I'm just going to put a pot of my glue now the glue that I like to use the PVA glue that I like to use is the um, Sea White of Brighton uh, PVA glue that's my glue of choice uh, it's more like um, a book binding glue if I'm honest it's a really strong PVA glue and I get it from my local uh, art supply and she is also online I will put a, a little link um, the, underneath this to give you her details and then we're just going to run that glue just along there like so and then with my bone folder I'm just going to flip oh you've gone out of focus sorry I don't know what's gone on there There we are, sorry we're back. We're just going to flip that over there and glue that down. And the same with this one. We're going to flip that down and glue that down. Flip this down, glue that down, and then just moving along, we're going to do exactly the same to all these edges here. got a little tiny bit that keeps popping up like that one's doing I've just got these little teeny tiny um, little clips that'll just hold that in place right we're going to turn it round like so flip that over and go across like that trying to keep the corners as neat as we can now it doesn't matter if they don't meet because we are going to cover that um, with a uh, some papers at the next stage there we go like that flip that over trying to keep them as neat as we can moving along so can you imagine if I was trying to do this with my big book um, it, it is a bit of a struggle to try and do it in the limited space that I've got for uh, my filming, if I'm honest. So hence the reason I thought I'll just make a, a smaller journal that I'm having to make anyway because I want to make this as a, um, a gift. 
and uh, for uh, for Christmas for a friend. So I just want to flip that over. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the finished product because I know that she uh, she does follow me. She has has subscribed to the uh, channel. Well, and while I'm saying that, sir, just a big thank you to those who have subscribed to me. Um, thank you so much. And it is nice to get little messages. And if anyone's got any questions that they want to ask, please feel free to. Um, anything at all, I'm, I'm quite happy to, to answer any sort of questions. Um, someone has mentioned um, my, uh, um, my voice. Uh, wondering where in the world I am from because it's I've got a specific accent. Well, I don't think I have. Anyway, I've got an accent, but um, I was actually uh, born in Wales, but I haven't got a Welsh accent. Uh, and I now live um, on the on the Wirral, which is just across the way from Wales and also across the way from uh, Liverpool. So it's a sort of mixture of the two, I think. Is that what I've got? Anyway, moving on. So we've now got that so covered and everything is quite flexible and that's the key thing really is to make sure that everything is quite bendable um, so when we're open and closing it. And then the next thing I've gone and done is just put a strip of matching paper uh, across each of those spines. So a pre-cut again so that's going to go across there and what I want to do before I do that is just run my bone folder along that f that little gap that's there. Now again this is purely to make it easier for when we're trying to get the book. Oops get the book to fold so just fold that that across and fold that across now it doesn't matter at this stage um, if one side's a bit bigger than the other because we're going to um, I've ripped that paper there so I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue there just for a minute um, we're going to cover that anyway uh, but I just want to make sure that that that's bends when the paper bends. And then just with some double-sided tape, which I put on one side so I wouldn't lose. And guess what? I've lost it. Here we go. So I'm just going to run. And again, this is just so that it just keeps the page settled while we have the glue um, adhere to the page. Um, Because once it's in, all the other uh, papers are going to help keep everything uh, in line. Okay. So we, I say, I've done exactly the same on the uh, the big book. Put a piece across there. Oh, I've got a piece there anyway. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. I don't know whether you ladies uh, do that, and you gents. I keep forgetting about the gents. Do apologise. Um, I do talk to myself a lot. Which can be a bit worrying, but I suppose it's when you tell yourself, can you repeat, is uh, when you've got an issue. So I'm just going to lift those uh, off there and I'll throw some, some glue down, not literally. There we go. Turned out a really, really nice day, but I'm a bit confused with today because um, it's it's Sunday, and it's the day the clocks have. Oh, I get all so confused. Um, the leaves fall off, so the hour goes off. Um, so the we've, the hour's gone back, I think. So that gets a bit confusing. I don't try to think about it too much because my brain can't cope. Right. So okay. So making sure that they go down there like so. Get my bone folder, put the centrepiece in first, like so, lift the book up, and then hopefully these should stick like that. There we go. 
and then the same with this one we're going to bend that up just a little bit because we want that to be a little bit movie there we go and then if it's not sticking as well as you want it to stick this is when I use my uh, little clips again so I'll just get a little clip to clip there and a little clip to clip there turn it around and do the same again Again, if that's not quite glue in there, again we just throw another little clip in Oop. to hold everything in place there, like so. There we go. And then we've just got the other side, this other little hinge here to do. So again I've got a pre-cut uh, piece of card that we're going to throw down and we do exactly the same. Let's just put that there. Oops. there. We're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to put run a piece of sticky tape down the second down the centre just to keep everything in line while the glue sets. Like so. If anyone's got an easier way of getting this double sided tape off, I would love to hear about it. So, where's my glue gone? Okay. There we go. Centre there, marking like so. Not pressing too hard so you don't rip it like I did the other piece. There we go. I'm running my bone folder across it so it all goes in nice and neat. that so make sure that keeps a nice bend because that's this is the hardest thing is trying to keep your papers flexible when you're oh, when you're um, wanting to do a corner okay that's not quite sticking as I want it to stick, so I'll put a bit more glue along that edge there, like that, and along that edge there, like that. Lovely. Okay. So, we should now have that paper there sticking nicely and it's not playing game at all. It's just there we go. That's better. That's better. Much better. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So we just let that glue settle a while. So while that glue's settling a while I'll explain to you what we're going to do with this main um, spine area. So we're going to take these off for the time being and what I've actually gone and done, I've measured out a piece of black card that's going to slot over like that so that will make quite a nice little uh, edge like so. And what I've also gone and done is 
I've gone and put that through and a, oh gosh, um, embosser. And this one's just got uh, words, uh, letters on it. Doesn't make any uh, actual words. So I've measured it and it just slots onto there really, really nice. And then all I'm going to do with that one is with some, and this time I'm going to use the heavy duty double side, excuse me, uh, double sided tape. Because I really want this to stick really well. Um, so I'm just going to run that down the centre like so. So you only need to do this if you haven't got two pieces of paper that, or a piece of paper that's long enough to go through the whole of your book. Um, now, as I say, the paper that I use for my book. Um, was really really long because it's the free paper that I got and I'm going to do another little video on that to remind you um, of, of what it is that um, I did because it's it's great paper and it doesn't cost you anything which is to me is good and we're recycling so it's a win-win a situation so I'm just going to run that there like so we're going to run that there, like so, on the very, very edge, like that, brilliant, and then we're going to glue, now this, I'm going to glue this time before I take off my, um, my back into my double sided tape. I'm going to give it a good, a good amount of glue that's on there. And I just, as I say, I just find it, it's easy because it controls the paper that little bit better. Now I have pre-scored the paper um, to make sure that it does bend um, quite well. And I just want to make sure that my book is the right way, which is another thing for you to sort of consider. Um, now, luckily, the paper that I'm using, by sheer luck, uh, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Um, it's just the way the, the paper's been printed. So I'm looking to have that as my front, I think, because I've got a dog in the corner looking the right direction. And on the back, the dogs are looking all over the place. So I'm going to have it, that's going to be my, my front. So because I've gone and used a embosser, folder which has got the words on it I want to make sure that at least I put my letters the right direction because I've done it before in the past and they've been upside down so just a pre-warning uh, you might as well learn from the mistakes that I've already made uh, that makes life uh, much uh, simpler so I'm just checking yes my words or my letters are all the right direction and I'm just going to then take off these corner clips on all four corners like so like so and then I'm going to slot it down making sure that that's nice and even like that there we go so that has now covered my outside of my book, like so. Nice and neat, and the, you can't see the join where the, the two um, papers met. And I think that looks quite nice. And then what I will do with this particular one is I will go and get um, some of the... Um, you can either use a paste, you can use um, a wax, you can use whatever it is that um, that you've got, some gilding wax, and I'm just going to go very gently over like that with my finger. You don't have to use your finger if you don't want to, but I find I've got more control if I use my finger. So just like that, just to bring those those letters. There you go. See that a bit better. Those letters out. 
And again, you, you don't have to use embossing if you don't if you haven't got an embosser. You don't have to. You could just use black card or coloured card, or you can even use materials. Uh, you can use lace, uh, perhaps some linen, um, some coffee stained linen, cheesecloth. Um, the list really is endless. But uh, I just had this nice um, stencil that I wanted to use. So as you can see there. Okay, so that is basically the outside cover that we're going to do. Okay, so the next one now is the stage where I've just added the bits and pieces. So if you just hang with me now, I'll just swap around to my big one. That's the big journal. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, um, the next stage, because we've gone and done the outside of the journal now, um, we've gone and added the pocket, and all I've gone and done is I've glued that on, I've put uh, a ta um, two little brads there, and I've gone and put um, two little um, eyelets there just to, to secure it, and obviously that's come through uh, this side here, so I've got the two holes there. Let me just see if I can just bring that in just a bit fraction more. So I'm quite happy now. I've gone and lined my paper. Uh, all my um, spines are covered. Uh, this time I've actually just gone and covered it with the same paper from the uh, outside. And I'm happy now to start. Uh, filling her in and the way that I do mine is just put this to one side um, I want to be able to open the book up and then have things flipping in out and over is uh, is what I'm wanting to do so I've already pre-done a few just to give you an idea of uh, what I'm thinking so to start them all off, I'll just open these out. As I said, I'm trying my best to use just envelopes that um, that fit, uh, brown uh, envelopes that um, fit uh, into my uh, into my journal. So I'll just move my journal out of the way for a second. So each of my pages of my journal, I'm going to have some um, flips. And sometimes the books are going to open this way and sometimes the books are going to open that way. So all I've gone and used is a piece of craft card uh, and this is a, a A4 size and I've just cut it, bent it over and um, it fits perfectly. You might have to cut yours to fit your book as such. Uh, but I've just gone and used uh, envelopes and some a card uh, to make uh, to make these so this one is just a small piece of card that's been folded over and I've stitched along the edge and then behind it is another piece of card the same slightly bigger squarer and that has got a little bit that fits onto there uh, and that's on the back of an envelope so my envelope has got a space there where it can slide in as a pocket now what I've used to attach my envelopes to the other envelopes and to the craft paper is some packing tape. Now, um, a friend's gone and loaned me um, some of this that she, I think she picked it up in a car boot. Um, I thought I would have to lick it because the packing, last time I used it, the packing uh, tape, yeah, it was sort of like sticky on one side, but you had to lick it, you had to moist it, where this is brilliant because it's already sticky and it will stick uh, to everything and you don't have to lick it because licking it uh, the taste was awful so that's what I've used so thank you Linda for uh, loaning me your packing tape and I've just gone and attached it um, to the card and then I've just added a couple of um, small envelopes now these envelopes are the ones that you get um, the little money envelopes, they're quite, they're quite quite reasonable, I think, yeah, I got a hundred for a pound 
uh, in one of our pound shops. So that's what I've used there. And then again, it's got a little pocket there and a little pocket there. And then I'm going to add something to that size. So that's how I build up my um, my my inner pages. So that's one. And then where's my another one? And then here's another one I've gone and done. So with this one, I've put these two little tags there, which are going to keep everything together. So that opens out, and then this opens out. These open out like that. Okay. So the, again, it's those same envelopes. So you've got a little space there you can tag into. And then I've done a backing page. And with this one, just slightly different, I've gone and used um, a die cut to make these little slots that's like that. Now, I purchased these. I've got them here to show you. I purchased these from Sizzix. And they're called Straight Pierced Pocket Slot Dies by Four. Uh, and they are they're, they're really good they're this quite long they've got this let me just uh if i can zoom in a bit better they've got a sort of stitch pattern on them so when they do cut out you've got sort of like faux stitching uh along the edge um there uh, and they're ideal so what i did was i got some craft card i Put that on, cut it, and then just trimmed around it and shaped it. Now I haven't got a die that would make that shape, so I've just done mine by uh, by eye, and just played around. Uh, if you've got the die that uh, is better suited, brilliant. But as I say, unfortunately, uh, I haven't. I'll put a link underneath on where to get those. So that just slots into there, and I've just put it on backing paper. I uh, glued these onto the backing paper, and then put the backing paper down. And then these are going to be little ties to keep all that in place. So that's that one. And then if we open this out, where are we now? If we open this out like so, on the middle pages here, I've got two small brown envelopes. This is going to actually be attached to the inside of my book. So if you can imagine that's going to be attached to there and I've got I will attach it by going gluing down there down there and across there and then I so I'll have a pocket here and I'll make sure that I've got a pocket here so that's going to just slot into my book as such like so and then I've attached three little envelopes now these are the coin envelopes so there's a little place there to put uh, tags in etc etc and then that flips over and then that's just one of these brown uh, envelopes that's been attached and then on this side I've just attached a big envelope to have a large journaling card slot in which brings us back to there so that's going to be sort of like one page and then I can decorate it up so that was another idea and then I also did or I started to do this one. So again, I'm not sure whether I'm going to have it open that away, so it opens that way, or whether I'm going to have it open that away. I can't quite make up my mind. But again, this is just a, an old envelope with the um, the window there that I've gone and kept, because whatever image I'll put there, you'll be able to see it through that window. And then you've got a piece of card or oh, in actual fact, I think it's an envelope. Uh, yeah, it's an envelope. I've cut down an envelope. I've trimmed it off, cut it down. I've sewn um, along it to make two pockets. So you've got a pocket. Oops. You've got a pocket here. You've got a pocket here. You've got another pocket here. You've got another pocket here. And then here is a big pocket. So just on that, what, that one page, you've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got a pocket here, six and seven. And then you've got the pocket that's there, eight. Now this one is just using the little envelopes, the little uh, money envelopes. I did have some, I could show you where I put them. So these are just the little money envelopes. So I've got one that's going that way 
and then I've got one that I've cut down and gone that way and this one I've just gone and sewn um, and it comes out at the back of there like so and obviously I'll decorate uh, decorate those up so those are just some of the ideas to put into my into my journal and that's how I'm going to sort of move on and fill it so in, eventually it will be totally filled with loads of different envelopes, loads of loads of pockets um, and I'll show you the end result. I do hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration and I will explain to you about this free paper and how I've changed the texture of it um, in my next, uh, my next uh, video. So thank you for watching, hope this helps, please ask any questions. Um, thank you for subscribing if you already do and if you don't please uh, hit that um, subscribe and if you hit the bell next to it it will actually inform you when I've got the next video and uh, hope to see you uh, next time. See you later. Bye.